to the side five four three two one game start here we go all right the sentry from texas a&m is up and patrolling both robots on both sides of the field out and about that's what we love to see uh wow put her really fast at the ammo they're able to spend their gold first they get down to zero gold before a&m that's impressive that's some speed and coordination there we'll see what they can do Take a look at the middle of the field here. Some pellets flying across from both sides. Purdue's Red gonna standard have the, four. Purdue's going to have the infantry advantage with both of their robots being standards. They did do a little overheating on their blue standard four from Putter. That might have just been projectile hits as a and standard three is engaging. There we go. Yep, I do believe that a and standard did a little bit of damage to that blue standard three. Just a little bit more damage, about half health. They're pushing up. What a great opportunity for both of these teams. Should be a pretty even match here in the middle. You oh my goodness, AM getting the first blood. They're standard killing the standard uh, standard three from Putter. A great showing. This means the invulnerability will drop from the base of that combined team. And it looks like they've also scored a hit onto the sentry, putting them solidly in the lead in this first match with three minutes and 40 seconds to go. I've the Alliance having a pretty good job of being of having look the at this look robots. at this angle red standard for blue standard for peeking around this barrier dealing damage to each other it's almost a 1v1 there and that's good news as the hero for AM is able to line up and start taking some pot shots at the sentry they better apply able some to pressure connect. to that hero or he's gonna be able to take that sentry out with a couple hits it looks like that pressure is getting applied the hero's gonna very have to well back done. off very well done I think that, was that a power overdrive I do believe kill? that was a power overdrive on uh, on a putter blue three. Here comes the hero showing that spin to win. The hero spin to win pretty good from Texas A&M. There we go. Look at that standard from Texas A&M being able to keep both of the standards off from the middle of the base, allowing his hero time to take shots at the sentry. The I believe that shot connected. Connect. There is another connection, and that's going to be 200 go. damage. 100. Oh, and that's another 200. It's damage. 100 damage to the sentry because the sentry is technically oh, the sentry a robot. Is a robot yeah. It's a robot, not a structure. Yep, yep, yep. In RMUC, it's 200 to both the base and the outpost, but in RMUL, it'll do 100 to the sentry and 200 to the uh, base. Here we go. You. Uh, I shouldn't laugh. I, it makes the camera really loud, but uh, Putter is, is coaxing over their robots with the ladle of pellets. It was a very cute manner. All right, but red standard three, blue standard four, engaging here in the corner of the blue base. Texas A&M getting the better half of this trade so far as they've taken only one or two shots of poke damage, and blue standard three is almost Ooh, dead. The there it goes down. And that's the sentry as well. Oh my goodness, A&M able to play on both fronts. The standard from A&M able to engage both standards from Putter while the hero finished off the sentry. Incredible. The sentry taking hits from about mid-court from that hero the opposite side of where the putter team was engaging. A leveled up hero standard. is very dangerous. You can see the levels. That standard on a &M side is a level three. The hero is a level two. I think that cheering might have been the sentry locking onto a target and firing. That's good news. That's good news. It looks like the sentry is tracking. All those dirty looks were for nothing. The sentry does work on the side of a &M. Well, that might have been the cheering. <laughs> Both robots on the putter line. Red back standard up, three getting another kill. Down. My goodness. They need to start focusing on that base, though. These kills do not do anything for them at their, as they're at max level. Uh, they've got to start working on those game objectives and not focus so much on padding the KDA stats. Well, With it might one just be target practice for just using that time. It is a good practice. Minute left. But they've already these... secured at least a lead by taking out that Oh, yes. They'll... they'll they should win the game with one minute left to go. Uh, but like we saw from UW earlier, we want to see base skills out of these top teams. It's an important component as they get closer to the quarterfinals. Looks like you can see the communication between the driver and the ladle operator for refilling that ammo where he was nodding to the uh, to the ladle, port, the ladle operator to get more projectiles. Hero trying to get into a strategic point to attack the base. Ooh, blue standard four is getting pretty close to where that sentry rail is. He's got to be careful. AM has a double barreled sentry on the rail right now. We'll see if that's There we go. They land a hero hit from pretty far away, taking 200 damage off of the base. 16 seconds left to go. Blue standard four getting real close. We'll see if the sentry can spot it. It does! 
Nope, that's the red standard for it's doing damage. The sentry has spotted it. It has been locked on for a while. It just has not fired. All right. That's going to be interesting, a pretty interesting. decisive Tamu victory with doing base damage and taking out the sentry. Yep. Let's talk the good, the bad, and the ugly, Matt. All the way up. Countdown Four, starting. Three, three two, two, one. one. Game start. Here we go. Let's see who get, I'm interested in the micro play between these two teams. So let's watch the gold spending. Uh, A&M first to get to 100 gold this time. And Quickly followed. Putter following. A&M ahead in the gold spending race this time. A switch from the last game. And both teams spent pretty much all of their gold because Red the Standard 4 doing some early defense, keeping that other team out of the middle. Matt, you talked about how important it would be for Putter to take control of the middle of the field. A&M seems to understand that, and they're defending it quite well. Blue Standard 3, I believe that's the UT standard, trying to engage Red Standard 4. Red Standard 4, look at that constant spin to win. He's able to do quite a bit. As a level 1 standard, this is pretty impressive. The ball speed is well tuned from the software perspective so that they're not taking damage, but they're able to still have a good amount of accuracy. The hero from Texas A&M saving their ammo. Early, early hero shots are incredibly expensive. I believe they're like yes. 25 a piece, um, which means you can only buy a couple at the beginning of the match. Seeing as they spent 75 gold to outset, that would only be three projectiles. Yep. Red standard four, able to take blue standard three almost all the way out. If he can get this kill, it'll be really big for their experience points. We'll Those see. Blue points. standard three should not be hanging around at this low of HP. But he's now been surrounded. He's got a hero on one side, a standard on the other. This kill is going to be very instrumental. It'll start the snowball rolling for AM unless Putter can get him back to the healing zone. And he is in that reload zone where his health should rejuvenate a little bit. There it is. You can see that health bar on the top right. Blue standard three being the UT standard. That was yeah. damage. I love the cheers coming for Putter, asking their drivers to shoot and deal some damage. That's and some damage is dealt. Happen. Look at that. The health of red three and red one decreased as we're now in the cockpit of the Purdue and UT robots. Seeing what they see, you can see how easily it is to get turned around or not know exactly where how we're seeing from the third person uh, as onlookers and commentators. Um, sometimes a much it's hard better to job this game vision. by Putter. They've been able to hold off a and uh, I believe Blue Standard 3 does have vision on this hero. That first hit connected, but only counted as a standard projectile. That's there we go. The that damage. did the hero damage. They've got to scare this hero off, or they're, they're surely going to have to play catch up in the next Looks two minutes. Looks like they know that as they're both lined up to try to take on that hero. We're in the cockpits of AM's robots here. Bottom is the standard, top is the hero. That's an overheat or kill. Could have been both. Incredibly fun robots to pilot. Especially the standard. It's more my play style just for esports. A lot of fun. We've got some another hero shot connecting on the sentry. Some cheers coming in Once in chat. Again. Uh, for Shuar. One minute, 55 seconds left to go. A really good showing from both of these teams. An excellent match. Purdue Alliance definitely made sure to make note of trying to keep that hero at bay. As they've done a much better job of it. Sentry not falling nearly as fast as it did last time. But it looks like the hero is going to be in the spot to start aiming and taking shots at the sentry, which it does and connects. And that's going to take the sentry health all the way down to 90 and 0. There that is, is a sentry kill for AM. One minute and 20 seconds left to go. Let's see what AM can do to the base. Look at this view from AM standard as he's fighting again both of the sentries. Great piloting. He's playing with this barrel heat, keeping it between half and three quarters almost all the time. That's good burst firing. That is, and that's what those level three standards are able to do because they have so much more headroom with a much higher fire rate cap whenever you take that upgrade path. Oh, Looks like now that's going to be some base hit. damage. There's Quite another hero hit. Base damage. They got 53 seconds left to go. It's down to 1,400, 1,200, 1,000, 800. Might be a 1, base kill. 800. The hero keep going. They're forced off the base by Putter. This is a great showing. Great job from all of the teams involved. You can now see. Even if it doesn't count it as a win, uh, Purdue, UT, and RHIT taking pride here in defending their base, keeping AM from their first base kill. I don't think they've had a base kill all match. I, I mean, all tournament yet. Well, they only had one game before this, 
and it was I think forfeit. They're gonna need to connect four hero shots. There we go. It's down to six hundred. We'll see if eighteen seconds, seventeen seconds left. Four hundred health, health left. Two hundred health, health, health with twelve seconds left to go. And A &M that's the base takes kill. The base. That's A and M's first base kill of the comp.